B is for butterflies. Butterflies are just beautiful, beautiful insects that we have in, in this world, and it's so wonderful they're here. There's a lot of concern, though, about butterflies. A lot of people are very concerned, and for good reason. The number of butterflies in the world, the population is going lower and lower. Now, some of the reasons for this is that in some of the agricultural practices that we have, the very thing that the butterflies need to live on in a certain part of their life cycle are being eliminated in order to grow something, we call it a crop, that people can get money for. Well, nothing against growing crops, but you have to have something there for the butterflies. Now, butterflies are fascinating because what happens is they, as, as other insects, they begin as an egg, a tiny egg, usually a little white spot on a, on a leaf. Well, those eggs turn into the larva stage, which is called a caterpillar. Well, caterpillars are hungry. There's even a book called The Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, they eat a lot. In fact, that's when they take in most of their nutrition at that part of their life cycle. Well, what happens is that larva stage, it, the, the, these are insects that go through the full metamorphosis, the full change. So those caterpillars, uh, at one stage, when they've eaten enough, they become a pupa. Now, a pupa doesn't move very much. It's in a cocoon of some type uh, called a chrysalis for, for, um, for butterflies. And they stay in there until they're ready to mature as an adult mutter butterfly. When they come out of that chrysalis, they have to dry their wings, and then they're an adult butterfly, and their diet changes totally. Now, some adult butterflies don't eat anything at all, and a lot of them turn to just sipping nectar out of flowers and maybe getting a little water out of the ground. And, and they'll even, you can see them in, in the mud sometimes getting just a few minerals out of the mud. But they're not eating the leaves anymore. Their job is then to find a place to lay eggs and then have that whole cycle go over again. One of the images you saw is of a monarch butterfly, and they're real specific in that the only plant they eat as a caterpillar is a milkweed. And interestingly, the milkweed is poisonous to any other insect. So they eat the milkweed. The poison goes into their system but doesn't poison them. But if another animal, say a bird, is foolish enough to eat a butterfly, they get that poison and they do not like it, okay? It doesn't do them much good for their health. So if you don't have the milkweed, and that's one of the problems, if you don't have enough milkweed, you're not going to have those butterflies. And there are programs today all the way from the White House to your neighbor of people growing milkweed in their yards, along the side of their farms, so that the monarch butterflies, in any case, can regain their population by having the one plant that they need to eat. B for butterflies.